Friends in Deed is a local charity that makes a difference to one person or one family at a time. We had our first fundraiser for a young man involved in a very bad car accident six years ago. It was so successful and we enjoyed helping so much, we decided to have a new fundraiser each year. The next four years, we were able to help four new deserving families. Eric, a young man with cancer, Molly, a little girl almost beaten to death, and Emily and Sydney, two extremely premature babies. This year, we are helping Philip, a tiny three-year-old boy with spinal muscular atrophy type two, who needs a hyperbaric chamber to help him survive. Our team consists of our family, our friends, and the family and friends of our past recipients. This team grows bigger every year. We are all volunteers, no one gets paid. We encourage anyone who would like to help Philip to visit our website at www.helpfriendsindeed.org. Hi, my name is Agnieszka. I'm Philip's mom. My name is Mariusz, and I'm Philip's father. Hi, I'm David, and I'm 14 years old. I'm Asha, Philip's sister, and I'm 12 years old. My name is Osha, and I'm 5 years old. <laughs> this is Claudia. She is Philip's oldest sister. Claudia is 18 years old. This is Philip. We call him Filipek, and in January he will be 3 years old. We are from Poland. Me and my wife came here from a town named Tarnów 17 years ago. We met and got married in Tarnów. Filip was born in Chicago. He was born January 26, 2011. Everything was okay until he was eight months old. We started seeing problems at the end of the seventh and the beginning of the eighth month. At the time, we felt like he was losing his senses and he was weaker. When he was a baby, he had problem with diarrhea, but we had no idea that it was beginning of a very serious illness. Spinal muscular atrophy is characterized by the clinical presentation and the ability or the lack of ability of the patient to achieve appropriate motor milestones during development. So for example, going from lying to sitting or from sitting to standing. Uh, type 2 allows the child to sit but he's unable to stand and walk any distance at all. The first symptom was that Philip couldn't move his right leg. Then it was the same weakness in his right hand, what I mean in his arm. Those were the first signs that worried us about Philip, and we decided to look for help from doctors. He was diagnosed almost one year ago, just before his second birthday. Yes, he was, wasn't even two years old. Not a long time ago, he could crawl and sit by himself, but he can't anymore, because his muscles are very weak and they are dying slowly, which is called atrophy. Also, he could roll himself on the floor from one place to another. If Philip was more independent, it would be easier for mom, because she's pregnant now. It would be great if he could walk, so she didn't have to hold him all the time. We have to get used to his condition and life with his incurable disease every day. I have to work every day, so I leave house early every morning. But mom is with Philip all day, so I will let her tell something about. Philip has therapy at home. Therapists are coming five times per week. They exercise, stretch and massage Philip. Also once a week, Philip attends aqua therapy in a swimming pool. 
We try to help him as much as we can. It's a long story about doctors. We had to change some of them. It's very hard to find a good specialist who supports and helps to find resources for Philip. But nobody helps him with equipment. Not a long time ago, we went to Shriners Hospital, so there is a hope for Philip to have equipment that he can't live without. Besides SMA, Philip has scoliosis, so now he's waiting for special braces for his legs and his back. Now Philip is in early intervention program, but when he turns three years old, program is over. He will have only aqua therapy once a week. We hope that maybe Shriners Hospital will help with therapy. Unfortunately, every therapy is very expensive, so the early intervention program covers children from one to three years old. After a child turns three years old, parents have to worry about everything. We don't let him go to school now. He's too young. He's only three years old. We think he should go to school when normal kids go to school. He may go and probably will use a wheelchair, if he will have a wheelchair, because he doesn't have one yet. For us, Philip is a wonderful boy who unfortunately was diagnosed with SMA, so his muscles are dying.